The other day, I had quite um, a bit of a fail, actually. I was in a lobby. Obviously, I'm six exiles in. About to be seven, but anyway. I'm in final 2v2. My partner, Brett, from Element, by the way, go check him out, um, has already been exiled, so it's a little bit of a 1v2 here at the beginning here. Um, I'm going to put up a great fight, but there are a few shots that I missed that I don't think I should have, but in any case, um, I should have had a lot more shots anyway, just from aiming good. So, Solar Bear is in the back resetting right here. I'm going to get um, his Blind Faith buddy. I forget his name. I accidentally run out of mana there. Dr. Troll 420. I'm sure he's a different name. But anyway, sidesteps that one. I was predicting to go left. He's doing a great job of keeping his movement up. This guy's actually really good. I think I could have played this a lot better. Anyway, low da lay down the um, viscosity there just for a little bit of chip damage onto the armor. This chrono, this chrono rune, dude. It's not that good, okay? It just beats me somehow, all right? Now, he got to reset the entire way. And look at where I start. I'm just going to point this out. Like, If we go back to the beginning here and I get to where I exile him, unfortunately, that stone's going to force me to about 80 health. Now, thankfully, I have recovery, but this is just uphill from the beginning. And it's really... It's, uh, it was long. It was arduous. I was tired. <laughs> All the excuses I can think of. The chrono thing is like so niche. But I should have been able to close the distance and close this out with a little bit of outbreak. I played a little bit too cautiously for this range. And he's also running focused mana, so those fireballs really hurt. And I'm using my all of my uh, movement uh, defensively, which is really hurting me here. That's another point that I need to make use of here. So I opt to go away real quick, threatening the damage, reset. He is going to go ahead and try to um, to exile Brett here, which he does with the drop res. That, was, that actually caught me off guard, but I was able to la land some free damage for him there. And I hit, actually don't hit. Let me show you this real quick, because this, this like boggled my mind for the longest time. Look at this. Look at this shot. If I can get to the right point. This would have been a kill shot, by the way. Check it, check it out. Neom. Fireball eats it. Fireball eats it. He's going to lay down the fireball there. I don't know how that one missed, but anyway, I guess I was a little high. So I'm going to go ahead and chase him out here. Does the chrono. I land that one, and I try to land this next one. Fireball. Beautiful. So he gets the chrono off. I'm thinking he's going to land right there. Yep. He sees me through the... He does a great job of tracking me through um through invis. This man like knew where I was at all times. It was crazy. I somehow missed that one through his shoulder, but it's whatever. Brett's timer runs out. And at this point, I hold on to the shield for too long. This is what seals it out because I get hit, invis, he sees me, and pop. There I go. Unfortunate turn of events there. I'm a little disappointed in myself, but just look at this shot, man. Like this would have this would have sealed out the entire thing. Just just take a look. Just take a look for me, will you? Like the fireball misses. Damn, dude. That's really close. It's right behind him. He's almost going through the beam. Oh, I'm so sad. Anyway, thanks for watching the breakdown. Uh, feel free to submit clips if you'd like one featured. Um, also, feel free to like and subscribe. Do all the YouTube thing. Follow my Twitch, too. It's actually kind of popping right now. I do a lot of good gameplay, and I also practice my casting there so you can see some progress. Anyway, y'all have a good night, and peace.